Get that thing cracking like What's good YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with an art tutorial. In today's video, I will be letting you guys draw with me step by step. And the first thing we finna draw is Timmy Turner from Odd Parents. Have you ever seen that cartoon on Cartoon Network? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So the first thing you want to do, you want to come over here and click this little none right here. So we only have this one color selected. And the reason you want to do that, because if you don't click it, and we drawing with our mouse, by the way, I forgot to tell y'all, so everybody can keep up if you got Adobe. Look, I'm gonna show you if you don't lock this. Go ahead and get your pencil tool out right here. I'll let y'all look at my settings, make sure everybody, everybody looking at the same thing I'm looking at. For class to do that, click OK. Look, if you don't lock this top, It'll fill in the inside. It'll use the the black for the outline, and then it'll use whatever color you got in the inside, like to kind of to do a fill in color. So that's why we always lock this, so we can just get that get the lines. Okay, let's jump right into it. First, first shape we gonna make. It's the eyes, so what you wanna do, come over here and select the circle. We gonna make our, our size of our lines a seven point. And what we gonna do, make a circle. After you make that circle, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it a little smaller than that so we can fit the whole face on. I say about right there. You want to hold out. Wait, you want to come over here and get your selection tool. Then you want to hold out until you see these two little arrows. And then you want to drag it while still holding out. Then you want to let go of your mouse so we can make two of them. You feel me? And we're gonna bend it a little bit so we can lean it. Okay. Now you wanna come over back to your pencil tool. You wanna make sure this top box is locked, so you wanna click this. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on doing this nose. So to make this nose, all you wanna do is like kinda make a like a a backwards C. You know what I'm I think that's, I think that's pretty good. And don't, don't worry about that line going through the eye. We're gonna fix that later. Next line we're gonna make, we're gonna come right here and do a little curve. Okay. Then after you make that, you wanna come through right here. And we're gonna drag a curve all the way up to right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna try to take our time with the mouse. So the correction tool can try to fix our errors. Stop it right. Stop it right now. I think I can do that better. We're gonna try it one more time. All right. See that concentration. Okay. There you go. That was perfect. Now what we gonna do now, what we gonna do now, we gonna make the teeth. So what we gonna do, we gonna start right here. And then we gonna make a, a U. Okay, let's 
looking good. It's looking good. I'm going to drag this down just a little bit, but I'm going to make sure I keep my lines that I overshoot. All right, right there. After we did our teeth, we're going to do another line with our pencil. And it's going to come right here in an angle. Just like this. And now we're going to go. We're going to make a line coming through. We're going to make a line coming through. I forgot y'all can't see what I'm doing. We're going to make a line coming through right here. It's gonna go all the way up like this, but it's gonna have that same kind of curve. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna bring that thing all the way, all the way up with, with a curve, and we're gonna go through this line right here. Okay gonna make a half of an oval for the tongue now we're gonna come back to our circle and then you want to create a circle right here and you want to get your selection tool hold alt and drag that circle right here and then you want to let go on your mouse to place it now we got the eyes and let's see what else we're gonna do next step we're gonna make let's see we're gonna make the shape of the ears so what we're gonna do we're gonna get a circle and we're gonna make our brush a little thick. We're gonna go to nine. Wait, let's see how nine look. Okay, nine is a pretty good size. Okay. We're gonna start at the top of this tongue and make a circle like an oval shape because we don't want it too perfect because it's the ear. Okay. And we're gonna let go. Come back to our pencil tool. And now we fin to make a line coming through that circle and we're gonna try to curve it out a little bit right right there oh, let me go back okay now gonna make our lines a little bigger let's go to 11 and we're gonna we're gonna curve from right here and we're gonna bring it up when we so we can get this line close to this eye and we're gonna make that cheek come out right here and then we're gonna come back in so let's try that let's try to make that try to make that shape so let's go Almost had it. I'm gonna try it one more time. Let's see. Let's see, will this be the money tape? Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I think that is perfect. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring our lines down a tad to nine. We're gonna go to our, our rectangle tool at. It's under the circle. And now we're gonna make the eyebrows. And all you gotta do is just do some squares. After you make one, you wanna select, get your selection tool. We wanna kinda stand this one up a little bit. Then you wanna hold Alt and drag this over and then you want to let go on your mouse we're going to make this one we're going to bend the edges of this so they can come up a little bit we're going to 
bring this one a little higher as well. You can just click up on your keyboard or left right now, you know what I'm saying, to adjust it. And we're gonna grab this edge, turn it up a little more. Now what we're gonna do before we go too far, we're gonna clean up our lines a, a little bit. So what you wanna do, you wanna keep your selection tool selected. You wanna highlight everything. Then you wanna come to object. Then you wanna click expand and okay. After you do that, you wanna go to windows, select your pathfinder and it'll be over here. And then you wanna click divide on your on your pathfinder wait you gotta make make sure everything's selected you want to click divide on your pathfinder and now you want to hit this white selection tool and now we're gonna go through and all the lines we overshot we're gonna hit delete delete twice if it's still showing and then we just gonna delete all the lines that we overshot. looking good so far you feel me now what we finna do we finna start on the hair and it's just the same method but what i want to do i want to pull this pull everything down so i can fit everything on it so let's drag this down to the center okay we don't drag that down to the center like that now what you gonna do you gonna go back to your pencil tool. Make sure the colors at the bottom and the top box is is locked. So now we finna add this hair. So we gonna go. Let's make sure you come over here. Move your brush back up to seven point, and we gonna we gonna drag this line through here. Click my selection tool and turn this so I can get it. Go back to our pencil tool and we're going to make a line going right through here. Now we're gonna try that same, we're gonna use that same method one more time to do the other part of it. So we're gonna come up, we're gonna dip a little bit. Let me try that one more time. I think I can make it a little smoother. So we're gonna come up, then we're gonna come through right here. What I want to do is I'm gonna bring this up some, so I'm gonna just select that top part and drag it over with my keyboard. Okay. 
drag it over about right there. Now the last thing we gotta do, we gotta add our hat. So, what you wanna do is, you wanna come back to your, your pencil tool, and we're gonna drag a line through here. And then, we're gonna go up and come down. some lines before we go any further so highlight everything then we just want to click expand click ok then you want to click divide let's go through select the other selection tool and we're going to delete the lines that we overshot Now, I was just finna do this hat real quick. You want to go back to your pencil tool, select it, and make sure you got your, your line on seven point so we can keep the same consistency going through. We're going to start a line right here and bring it up through here. Uh oh, I forgot to lock the top. Let's try that again. Start the line right here. Bring it to the front of the brim. Then we're gonna make one right here. Let's try that one more time. a little bigger a little smaller so we can wait 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 we're just gonna make it like a five now select everything we're gonna go to object expand click ok hit divide the other selection tool delete the lines that we overshot we don't want
make sure I get this other selection too. Delete that. Gotta add this little detail inside the ear. So we're gonna go back to our pencil. And we're gonna add that little swirl. Oh yeah, I forgot. Make sure the color on the bottom. Now that we finished with the line work, what you want to do, you want to select everything, come up here to object, expand, click OK, and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder. Then you want to drag a copy of the line work to this blank sheet of paper, lock the top layer, let me delete this one, lock the top layer, okay, now we're going to find a color of his skin tone I know he kind of orange got like an orange skin tone look I'm gonna come over to your rectangle drag it over everything then you want to right click the rectangle go to arrange and send to back. After you do that, you wanna highlight everything once again, and then you wanna click Merge. Okay, after you do that, you wanna right click it, isolate, select group, and now we can change every color that's closed off in certain that area. So, we're gonna come right here, get our dropper tool, select the skin tone, Hair, I mean, uh, eyebrows. I'm gonna make that dark brown. I'm gonna do the hair, make it a lighter brown with a red tint. I'm gonna do the eyes, I'm gonna make them blue. Make it pinkish. Do the inside of the mouth. I'm gonna do the teeth. Then we're gonna do the hat. There you have it, you guys. How to draw Timmy Turner from Odd Parents using your mouse. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and make sure you hit subscribe and post notification mode. He coming soon. And I'm out this thing.